Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of 100% walkthrough Bloodborne today we're going to be doing Kanehurst Castle which is a completely optional area but uh, if you don't know how to get here make sure you go and check out my video I did a tutorial on how to get to this area okay so it's not going to be that much of a long video uh, starting off here to the right of the lantern is going to be an elevator which will be activating shortly through the video which is going to be our main shortcut but behind it there's going to be an item uh, now we're going to head down here, uh, down this hill and down the valley at the end. Uh, watch out, this um, this valley is actually going to be infested with worms, they're really annoying. Obviously, like always, I did clear the whole level out before recording this. Right, so now we're going to go to the left of the lantern to this um, statue fountain thingy. There's going to be an item there in plain sight. Uh, now we're going to head to the main door of the castle. Before heading into the door, we're going to head to the left. Um, there's three items over here, they're going to be guarded by three of the spider things, so be careful. It's not really worth getting them if you're not interested in the cold blood or whatever it is. Uh, one more thing before heading into the main door of the castle, we're going to come over here, uh, past the door, all the way to the end, and there's going to be another item over here, guarded by another two spiders, I think. Uh, so that's it for this part, now we're going to head into the castle. Um, even though I did clear the level out, um, these enemies I'm about to uh, um, encounter here do not actually spawn until we pick up one of the items down here. So all these ghosts um, are going to be alive. But I'm going to ignore them anyway for the sake of the guide. Uh, there's another item over here. What? So it's one to the left, one to the right, and then at the far end to the right we are going to get the um, rapier pistol, which I also did another video on how to get. Uh, so anyway, heading up the main stairs, first we're going to come to the right, uh, watch out for all these ghosts, that actually spawns a whole bunch of them. It's going to be an item over here against this wall. Uh, if you don't want to turn back uh, to where all the ghosts are, we can hop down here. Now we're going to head back up the stairs and go to the left. Um, there's nothing at the end, so just head into this door to the right over here. There's going to be a whole load of ghosts in here, but I already cleared all this out. Uh, there's going to be one item here in plain sight in the middle, and there's going to be a chest. To the right circling around this table uh, which is going to be uh, probably one of the best and prettiest dresses or outfits for female characters so yeah I'd go and put that on straight away I really like how it looks um, now heading out to the balcony we're going to continue the only way we can go which is up here to the left through the um, corridor here uh, we're going to come to this area before going right uh, which is the way con to continue come left up this uh, tower here and pick up this chunk um, there's also going to be a one of these vampire type creatures up here, but uh, like I said, they're all dead. Uh, down here, even though it really looks like you can drop off there, don't never do that. It will just uh, kill you instantly. I actually did that the hard way and figured out the hard way. So yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, continue on until you um, find the next area where you're outdoors. Before heading to the door right in front of you, go to the right and get the executionish set, which is another armor set. Now we're going to head into the door. Now we're going to come to the main area of the castle. Uh, before heading into the main big room, uh, come to the left and open this chest just here. And to the left of the chest there's going to be the elevator we were talking about at the start. So make sure you go and activate that even if you don't want to go down it. Right, so now in the main building, um, we're just going to stick to the right end, head up this little staircase here and drop down to these tables. This is the only way we're going to be able to access this chest here which has got the Evelyn in it. So make sure you don't miss that. Um, heading up the staircase to get out from behind the tables, this uh, door to the right, this ain't going to be open for you guys, that's actually a shortcut a bit later on, but uh, the only reason I've got that open is because I cleared the level out. But anyway, heading upstairs in this big building, if we carried on straight there's going to be a few enemies, but there's not really any items, so we're going to head across this bridge to our left and then uh, the only bridge we can to the right and pick up the only item in this building. So yeah, so now we're just going to stick to the left against the wall and wait until we see this window to hop out. Before hopping straight down in front of this, make sure you turn to the left and hop down onto the next platform to get these few bullets. Right now we're going to drop all the way down to the bottom. Um, before continuing um, straight on over there behind the statues, we're going to come into this little building to our left. There's going to be two chests in here, one's going to be over here to our far right. Uh, I believe there's going to have a, uh, some kind of a magic in it, I think it's the Executioner Glove or Gauntlet or something like that. And it's going to fire those skulls out, I believe it is, I'm not too sure. But I think it's that anyway. And the other ones behind these tables sticking to the right, um, that is the Knights set I think. Looks pretty cool on a male character, uh, looks okay on a female character, but it does change a bit. But anyway, uh, now we're going to head out the same door as we came in, go behind the statues like I mentioned before. And go across this thin ledge, um, kind of like before. Um, even though it kind of looks like you can drop down, you can't. It will instantly kill you. Uh, but anyway, before heading into the window to the left, we're going to come onto that roof there and pick that up. Now we're going to go back into that window. 
Right, so now uh, this lever just here to our right, this will activate the door, that shortcut we talked about a few seconds ago. So now that's open, we're going to um, head up the ladder to the right of the the bookshelf we opened. Uh, there's going to be a chest over here straight in front of us. Uh, from here we could either go to the left and walk all the way around the top part of this building, or we could go opposite the chest and um, head straight to straight up these stairs. It will, they'll both lead to the same place, but if you walk all the way around the building, um, there is going to be a crystal listed, so if you don't want to miss that, uh, make sure you go all the way around that room. Um, now we get to this big roof, uh, there's going to be an item over here guarded by two or three gargler guys, or vampire, whatever the fuck you want to call them. Uh, from here we're just going to take the the only path we can really take at the moment is by dropping off this round roof here, uh, dropping onto the next one, and dropping down to this bridge, there's going to be an item here in plain sight. Now we're just going to continue up the ladder, there's going to be one more item before the boss battle, which is over here, straight opposite us on the left part of the roof. Uh, and that's it guys, that's it before the boss, there's a few items, uh, unmissable items after the boss, so um, once you've fought this boss, it's not really that much of a hard battle, but anyway, once you've killed him, uh, make sure you go and pick up his crown, and uh, before heading back to Hunter's Dream, we want to equip the crown uh, just over here, and head towards uh, this door over here with the two flames beside it, there's going to be a short cutscene. Uh, once the cutscene is over, we're just going to head up these big stairs here into this great big room with a load of statues in it. Um, the only thing in this uh, room, nothing hidden, there's going to be one item to the right of the NPC at the end and this is going to be where we can join the Covenant of the Vile Bloods. So yeah guys, uh, this was the 100% walkthrough of Kane Haas Castle. If I missed anything, please let me know in the comments. If this was helpful, please go ahead, like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.